Right then, hello and welcome back to Race, the official game of the 2006 World Touring Car Championship. Today is Saturday, April the 8th, and that can only mean one thing. I am another year closer to my inevitable demise, but it also means we are back with this game to carry on with the championship with the next two races of this season at Brno in the Czech Republic. I'll be getting on with qualifying shortly, um, just to see where I line up. Uh, I don't think I'm going to do very well around here. I have had a little bit of practice, and I am not great, to say the least. I'm at least five seconds off pace. But uh, anyway, we'll see how we get on. We'll get on with qualifying, and then I'll get on with the grid rundown for uh, round 13 of the championship and race one of the weekend. Well, as you can see, qualifying is still ongoing currently, but I don't see myself creeping up the grid anytime soon. Uh, I only managed to get a 216.3 when Gabriele Tarquini is on a 212.3, so I'm just under four seconds off the pace, but then we know that the AI are a lot faster during qualifying uh, than they are during race pace, so uh, that can be a, a, con a contributing factor to the uh, the qualifying results. So I'm going to be starting at the very back with uh, Sarah Soli. Um, yeah, wasn't a good uh, qualifying session at all. And uh, frankly, I'm not very fond of this track. It's a little bit too up and down for my liking. Um, some of the corners as well, very hard to uh, judge what gear to take them in. Sometimes it's second, sometimes it's third. Yeah, a little bit strange. But anyway, Going to carry on then, so uh, the qualifying results then are exactly the same as i just shown you. Uh, Gabriele Tarquini is on pole with Dirk Muller, Jorg Muller and Andy Prio the top four with Ricard Rydell lining up in fifth place. So uh, with that, let's get on then with race number one. It's going to be 10 laps and this is a starting grid then. Gabriele Tarquini is on pole position, Dirk Muller and Jorg Muller. Andy Prio, Rickard Rydell, and Rob Huff in sixth. James Thompson, uh, Nicola Larini. Then you've got Morbidelli and Jordi Janay. Uh, Peter Terting and Alex Zanardi. Alan Menu, uh, Machetti. Sharp, Hoisman, uh, Tavano, Bolzan, Corthols, Yanak, Farfus, Rangoni, Muller, myself, and Sarah Soli. So, yeah. And it's piddling down with rain. Hooray! The first time we've had a wet race in this championship. And off we go. Stick me lights on. And everyone is slamming on their brakes at the very start. Luckily, I think my uh, pit crew did put wet tires on, so that's good. Getting a bit of bite in the front end. So, from 24th up to 9th. So that's not bad going. I think the AI are a lot more cautious in wet weather conditions, so I may be able to capitalise and get uh, a top 5, possibly. We're stuck behind Rob Huff. Come on, Huff, get out of the way. It's alright, I'll take the inside line in. Thank you very much. It seems to be only spitting with rain. You're not getting any sheen on the circuit, and there's no spray being kicked up by the other drivers, so... Possibly just a, a random shower. So with that, I'll just turn my wipers off for the time being. Put them back on. <laughs> Time to go up the hill. Coming to the end of the first lap. Oh, 
All right, Tarquini leads the way from Dirk Muller, Jorg Muller, Peter Terrating, and Andy Prio to top five. I am currently in seventh, which isn't bad. Oh, and we got a spin, so I'm going to carry on with my normal pace. And I've caught up. That looks like... Was that turreting? I had a spin. Oh, understeer. Car not enjoying these conditions is a bit greasy. It's not full on wet, but it's not dry. I'm starting to get a bit of spray now from the cars. sliding, come on. No, come on. Come on, keep it going, keep it going. It's alright, we've only lost the one spot. We can make that back up, that's fine. Everyone is tiptoeing around the corners anyway, so we can possibly catch up. Of course, we're leading the championship at the moment, but Gabriele Tarquini is leading the race, so he's going to get the maximum points if he doesn't spin. So that is going to jeopardize our championship lead. Of course, we've got the excess weight ballast as well. A lot of understeer. Chevy at the back there going a little bit wide, almost losing it at the rear end. You can hear the uh, the car scraping, the tires scraping. A lot of understeer. Five seconds back from Rob Huff in the Chevy in front. Another yellow flag. Spun. That's one of the BMWs. A 
That's one of the Mullers. Now we're starting to get a lot of spray. It's Jorg Muller. So the track is getting more saturated. Cars are starting to lose it. You can see my car struggling with the understeer. And again, come on. One more lap in the bag. I've got a caution in sector three this time. Got a bit of a trolley train behind me as well. Really not enjoying these conditions at all. That doesn't concern us because that was behind us anyway, and that was the... Oh, it was a Chevy. So has he spun? I think so. And we got the Alfa Romeo behind, sniffing our exhaust. Never like to see that because uh, they are bloody quick.
Ah, the car just doesn't want to turn. Oh, he's blocking. So more Bidelli. Cars washing out wide. Well, something had happened because uh, there's two cars in front that are very slow. Uh, I've lost another position, so it doesn't make no odds. I'm out, I'm now out of the points. Well, this is incredibly frustrating. I was hoping to stay in 8th place because that means with the partial reverse grid for tomorrow, I would have been on pole position, but not anymore. It looks like I'll be starting in 10th. Morbidelli would probably take the pole position. And Gabriele Tarquini will start in 8th place. Caution in Sector 2. A lot of caution flags. Three laps to go. Tires are gone. God damn it, there's Farfus.
I did say I wasn't going to do very well around here, so I'm definitely proving my point. Just need someone in the, the front half dozen to make a mistake. Just to slow everyone down. And of course the weather conditions aren't helping matters at all. Case in point. Front end locked up, understeered off. See the tires are definitely worn the amount of steering input that's needed for the turns. I'm just getting a lot of understeer. Just cannot seem to catch him. Just losing time hand over fist. At least we have an 11 second gap over 13th place, so that's a plus. Come on, look at that. Understeer. So Tarquini still leads away. Andy Prio, Dirk Muller, and Peter Turreting in the top four. We had Rob Huff now in fifth place. As we all start the final lap. So I'm going to be finishing in 12th place. So, you know, that's better than I thought I was going to around here. So that's a, that's a plus. Another caution in sector 3, which is pointless because that's behind us. Need someone to make a mistake in front of us, really. There's the understeer again. Now these these type of tracks don't really suit the Peugeot either because of the lack of pace and power. And with the uh, chronic understeer issues as you can see. No, don't spin it. Oh, you son of a... Come on, get it in reverse. Well, I did have an 11 second gap. Jesus bloody Christ, you couldn't, you really 
Oh, I just need to keep my mouth shut every single time something happens that completely messes up the race. But it doesn't help that my tires are completely shot. There we go, Tarquini takes the win, Prio, Muller, Turting and half the top five. I can maybe make up one or two more spots again. Before the end, hopefully. Oh yeah, and now there's a caution in the first sector. Bloody typical. Oh yeah, and one of the alphas decides to go for a spin. I'll take the uh, middle route. So yay, I finished 17th. Joy of joys. I haven't scored any points. I know because the points only go to the top eight. And there's another caution in sector one. Why couldn't there be cautions in sector one while I was following the little pack? Why now? Bloody typical. Anyway, that is race one of the weekend complete. So we'll just wait for all this to cycle on through and wait for the back markers to get across the line. So Marchetti was 19th. Balzan, Yanak. Jorg Muller was 22nd, Jordi Janay in 23rd, and Rangoni 24th. And there we go, Gabriele Tarquini wins in the SEAT uh, with a time of 23.01.7 and an average speed of 87.3 miles an hour. Yay, congratulations Tarquini, you git. So that means I've lost my championship lead. But we still got one race to go tomorrow. So, that's a plus, I suppose. So, uh, yeah, there we go. There's the rundown. And let's have a look at the timing and scoring. Everybody finished, of course, because nobody retires in this game. Um, so, yeah, Andy Prio was second. Dirk Muller, the final step of the podium. Then you got Peter Turting, Rob Huff, Jorg Muller, Ricard Rydell, Gianni Morbidelli, James Thompson, and Augusto Farfus, the top ten. Then you got Larini, Corthol, Sharp, Hoisman, Zanardi, Menu, myself, Tavano, Marchetti, Bolzan, Janak, Muller, Janay, and Rangoni with Sarasoli bringing up the rear, uh, who was uh, 1 minute and 22 seconds off the pace. Ah, joy of joys. Anyway, we got all that to do again tomorrow, so we're going to be starting in 17th. Uh, my engine was slightly damaged. But that's fine. Uh, everything else has been replaced. I don't know if it's raining. I don't think it is. Uh, so that's a plus. Anyway, I will see you all tomorrow then for race two of the weekend and round 14 of the championship or race 14 of the championship, I should say. Um, yeah, and hopefully we can have better fortunes next time. So, yeah. Anyway, I'll see you tomorrow then. Thank you very much for watching, as always. And I'll see you then for race two of the weekend at Borno. Take care, stay safe, and bye for now.